Brooklyn Independent Television. Among women, cervical cancer was once a leading killer. But between medical progress and a lot of public education, it's less common and less lethal than it used to be. Good news, but that does not mean that women can afford to drop their guard. In 2010, more than 12,000 Americans were diagnosed with cervical cancer, and more than 4,200 people died from the disease. Healthbeat Sherry Carabin brings us up to date on what you should know. My mother and grandmother had breast cancer. They're both survivors. I had a cousin who had cervical cancer, who is a survivor as well. Just a few of the reasons, 38-year-old Bay Ridge resident Mary Maluso says she makes it a point to undergo annual screenings for cervical cancer. Hi, Mary. Hi. How are you? Good. How I'm are Dr. You? Hosseini. Nice to Hi. meet you. Luckily, I've always had a healthy bill of health and uh, knock on wood. And um, I just, you know, get, get my regular screenings with my GYN. That was not the case with her cousin, who was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2005. I didn't talk directly with her a great deal about it, but more with her daughter and how it was in a, not an advanced stage, but it wasn't terribly early when they had caught it. So um, she's great now, she's healthy now, but you know, that is even more of a reason for me to just be diligent about early detection and screening regularly. Cervical cancer forms in the tissues of the cervix and is usually slow growing. Although it may not have any visible symptoms, it can generally be detected with a pap test. The way this test is being done is by removing some cells from the external surface of the cervix. Dr. Masa Hosseini is an obstetrician and gynecologist at Brooklyn Women's Services in Bay Ridge and an attending physician at Maimonides Medical Center. This test is usually being done at the time of annual GYN examination. These cells are being sent to a pathologist. They look at the cells, they look at the shape, size, color, and content of the cell, and then they report the result of the pap smear as normal or abnormal pap smear. So what does it mean to have an abnormal pap test? Abnormal pap smears are common. Almost 5% of the pap smear are abnormal. And the good news is most of the abnormal pap smears are not cancer. And most of them are only mild changes and um, only with close follow-up, um, they can be um, managed. So no history of abnormal pap smear. No. Risk factors for cervical cancer include smoking, becoming sexually active at a young age, as well as having multiple sexual partners. However, the most likely cause is almost always HPV, human papillomavirus. HPV is very common. About 80% of men and women are affected with HPV at one point in their lives. It's considered a sexually transmitted disease. It's divided in two groups, low risk and high risk. The high risk one is the one that can cause abnormal cervical cells, including precancerous cells and cervical cancer. This is different views of the cervix and um, different conditions that can involve the cervix. While many people are able to fight off this infection on their own, a small percentage cannot. There is no treatment for HPV, so if it does not go away on its own and leads to the development of abnormal cells in the cervix, surgical intervention may be necessary. Depends on the degree of abnormality. There are different uh, treatments, including freezing, burning, um, cutting a piece of the cervix. This is the um, view of the normal ab abnormal cervical cells. The top one is normal one, and then mild dysplasia moderate to severe dys dysplasia and cervical cancer. If the diagnosis is cancer, treatment options include surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, or in some cases, a combination. The decision as to which method to use depends on the age and health of the patient, as well as the progression of the disease. If you do have an abnormal pap smear, do you, should you get screened sooner than one year? If you are above age of 30 and you never had abnormal pap smear and you're negative for HPV, you can do your pap smear less frequently. 
every two to three years. However, if you had abnormal pap smear, it depends on what kind of abnormality, you may need to be checked more frequently. There are now two vaccines that have been approved by the FDA to help prevent HPV in girls and young women. Women over 30 can get tested for HPV at the same time they get a pap smear. Those who are younger will want to do so if they have an abnormal pap test. Such measures are designed to catch problems early on. If left undetected, cervical cancer can spread and even lead to death. Him right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. As for Meluso, she's made her decision. You shouldn't take it for granted that you're younger and you're healthy and therefore you don't need to necessarily be that worried about it or be that diligent about screening. I mean, it's still really important to take care of that at, at any age. This is Sherry Carabin reporting for Health Beat Brooklyn. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.